Hey witch, welcome back to my channel, or um, welcome if you're new here. It's me, the colonial woman, turning butter on the wing of the plane. My name is Matt, and today I have a super fun video planned, a collaboration with someone you're probably very familiar with, Mint Fairy, God Fairy, what? God Fairy, Fairy Godmother Mint here on YouTube and on Instagram. Today, I am doing a collab with Maddie Mystic, my dear friend, and I'm so excited to bring you some more A Dollar Store Magic. Let's get to painting this tiny little pot. Let's get our paint plate. Um, you can get lots of plates from Thrift Store and use them for whatever you want. Whatever you want, including paint. <laughs> um, a quick little background about us. Um, I met Mint at Avalon in Orlando. I met a physical supply store, which is great. And they have an online store. You should definitely check it out. Um, before I even knew that Mint had like a YouTube channel and all that stuff. So that was super cool. And then years later, um, after I moved out of Florida, we connected on Instagram and just instantly hit it off. So we've been friends for couple years now it hasn't been super long but it's been a couple years now but we decided to do a collaboration video today um we challenged each other to go to the dollar tree and come up with a protection spell under ten dollars so that's exactly what we're doing today i have salem here with me she's just staring at me while i film this let's see if i can get her to lay like a baby nope so, um, first, let's just go through what I got at the Dollar Tree. So, like I said, the requirement was that we spend less than $10. I think I spent right at $10. I think I got, I challenged myself to actually pick up 10 items. I could have done this spell for so much cheaper. I could have done it for like $3, but I forced myself to spend all $10 of that allowance to do something super fun and crafty. Um, my magic is always about like art, um, self-expression and that kind of stuff. So we're going to do a magical arts and crafts moment today, um, for an evil eye protection charm. So, uh, more like a ward, not a charm. Okay. So bag number one, I got these cheap paints. Oops. Sorry. Cheap booty paints. <laughs> Um, I have a very little hope about these being quality paints, but we're going to test them out today just because I'm curious. I also got really terrible paint brushes that I'm really excited to try too. I thought they looked like they had a really fun texture, so I'm going to try to play around with that. Um, some Mod Podge. Some modeling clay. I'm nervous about the modeling clay specifically because I don't know if this is a clay that dries quickly or if you have to put it in the oven to dry it like polymer clay. There are literally no instructions at all on this package. So we're going to test it out. If it works, it works. If not, it was a dollar. Not a big deal. I also got this piece of wood on a string fascinating a white seven day candle dollar tree essential an empty bag i also got a roll of natural jute cord why is that such an ugly name to me natural jute cord and then the spices, I also, I got, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I can't talk today at all. I'm so sorry, but I'm highly caffeinated and I'm ready to film this. So we're going to do it anyway. Um, I got some basil leaves. What is this brand? Supreme Tradition. Our traditions are supreme here. I'm non-traditional, so. I also got a black peppercorn grinder and a sea salt grinder. So these are the three herbs that we're going to use in our craft today. We're going to try mixing some with paint and other fun stuff. So those are the supplies I'm using. How many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, I got ten. So that's probably a little over the $10 budget. I think it's going to be like $10.70 or something like that. Sorry, I cheated. Now that you see what I got, I'm going to go into how I make this evil eye protection charm. 
So we're going to go somewhere else because I don't want to paint in my bed. Enough chit chat. I will see you um, at the crafting station. What is this? I'm so awkward today. Voiceover mode activated. So I start out by taking all of my supplies out of the package. I know, what a revolutionary idea. Just as I assist- Oh! Are you for real? Start out by cleansing the energy of your white candle. Um, I tend to just use holding it in my hands if I have nothing else. Um, to stay in within the challenge, I didn't use any incense or smoke cleansing or anything like that, so I just use intention. And then I start out by sprinkling my herbs into the candle to get that started before our craft even starts. I always love having a candle going while I'm making some kind of magical arts and crafts. So I started out with the sea salt, which is great for cleansing, and followed it up with black pepper, which is great for banishing and repelling, and then basil leaf for some more protection. And bam! And now the candle is lit and we can put it to the side. Next, I just took off this little cord to make it easier to paint. I didn't want to have to worry about that getting in the way and smearing my paint everywhere because the paint was already hard enough to work with. So I chose this cheap, tiny brush that just destroys my soul every time I scrape it across the wood. How do I do this? Um, here. But first, I thought it would be fun to add some crushed black pepper to the black paint in order to imbue it even more with the energy of the herbs. I am trying so hard not to make this chaotic, but it is always going to be. <laughs> Scrape it the best you can into your paint and give it a little swirl. And the entire time I'm painting this, I'm visualizing my intent of protection and repelling the evil eye away from me. This paint did require about four coats for each color, so... I highly recommend trying a different paint from the Dollar Tree and not the one that I chose. Next, I do dab a little bit of black pepper into the paint itself, but in the end, it didn't really end up sticking. Now I'm mixing up my colors for the inner color of the iris. Is it the iris? I don't even know, but it's the light blue color and not the dark blue color. And I also tried to add salt to this, but I don't know what it did to the paint. It was bad. <laughs> oh, that fun. But in this clip, you can definitely tell that the paint is just so runny. It's just like water. It's like painting with Kool-Aid. I don't even know how to explain it other than that. <laughs> Once you get the right color, make sure you apply like 17 coats. And I did notice with this color specifically, not so much any of the other ones, this one bled so bad. I don't know if that was the salt that I added to the paint, but that is definitely a possibility. Here I am just trying to generously coat the white because you could not even see it against this wood. Now time to get out the clay. Ew, it's like grazy. So grazy. And just rip apart one of your paintbrushes to make a makeshift rolling pin. 
First, take the smallest amount of black and roll it into a little snake. I do want to put in this quick trigger warning. I do use an X-Acto knife in this video. I know some people can be sensitive to razor blades, so I just wanted to give you a warning beforehand. Then you'll take your light blue color and do the same snake technique and then flatten it with your handy dandy paintbrush rolling pen. Once you get your flat shape, just roll up your little black snake into its nice little blue blanket. <laughs> Mine was too short, so I did have to roll out a little bit extra, and then I just slapped it on there and rolled it in. You can conceal any ridges just by smoothing it out with your finger. Next, repeat that with your white. Again, didn't have enough, so I had to roll out a little piece, but no big deal. And a trick I found to be super helpful when you're rolling out these circles, if you take like a piece of cardboard or something and try to roll it flat with that it gives you a straighter line instead of like a lumpy hand shape if that makes sense and then once you cut your first piece off you can round it out with your fingers to help get the shape back I am no expert by any means. My eyeballs came out kind of lumpy and uneven, but I still love them. Going in with another coat of paint just to make sure that you can really see it. Next, I'm taking one of these terrible brushes and just mopping some of this blue paint onto it as best as I can. The paint soaks right into the woods though, which was a pro because um, you didn't really see the streaks of paint in the end because it all soaked into the wood. Make sure to get the sides and the back. Then go in with your <laughs> detail brush, if you can even call it that, and go around the edges of the white paint to make sure it's fully filled in. Now it's looking pretty good. Put your jute cord through the hole. Um, I did cut a longer piece so I could fit all of my new beads onto the cord. Tie it in a little knot. And then using a tiny little piece of the clay, I kind of smushed it onto the natural jute cord and sandwich two of my evil eye charms onto it like an Oreo. Here I am smooshing it out. And just repeat that for all of the charms. Now it's almost done. I do have one final detail to put on it. So I'm gonna make a little mixture of my herbs, some basil, sea salt, and black pepper. And this is when the Mod Podge comes in. So get out your Mod Podge and gloop it into the cap and start taking one of your cheap brushes to smear it around the outside edge. I think you know where I'm going with this. I just thought this detail gave it a really cool textural element, and I love incorporating herbs into anything I do. So now you are going to put it around your candle to dry and to charge in your spell candle ambiance.
So overall, I'm really proud of how this came out. Um, I had to troubleshoot sometimes because um, certain things didn't work very well. First thing I would change is I would probably buy a different paint. <laughs> they had a lot of different options for paint at the Dollar Tree. They had like actual acrylic paints that come in like their own individual bottles. So next time I would probably choose those over the like little paint by numbers tray things because um, those are terrible. <laughs> They're like water. It took me like four coats just to get the white on there and yeah. And I don't know if this clay is going to dry at all. So um, <laughs> I don't think it'll fall off. I'm just worried about it not ever drying. So the eyeballs didn't come out perfect. Um, some of them have like pepper flakes in them. Uh, that was my Dollar Tree protection spell. Um, this is more like a protection ward. I'm just gonna hang it in my space and let it do the do the work. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching until the end. If you want to see, well no, not if you want to, you need to. You need to see the second part of this video. So head on over to Mint Fairy's channel. Obviously, the link will be in the description below. If you don't already follow them, you definitely should. What are you doing? Um, Mint is magical. I've learned so much from them. And Mint is just like the purest angel baby on this planet. I just, <laughs> I could go on for days. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what else you want to see me do. And I will do it. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> but until next time, I will spell you later.